Zach said his hydro or uh, e-brake locked up, so we took the glass out. We banged out some clearance. Hopefully it drives good. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, go check out that last video because I actually crashed my car. Um, that was last Sunday, today's Friday, so we're gonna pull the car out and kind of assess the damage and see how I can possibly fix the car, so. All right, so. As you guys seen, we got into a bed rack, right? Uh, luckily for me, my wife went shopping in Denver the, the following day on Monday. And my friend had seen me my story. Um, I posted the story of the, the damage. And he was like, hey, I got a E90 that I'm literally about to part out. So he's like, you can have the door if you come get it. So my wife happened to be in Denver and she picked it up for me. So shout out to her. And he also cut this piece of the door frame, which I probably will need. Uh, I've never done body work before, but basically it's that piece, right? So if anything, maybe like patch that area if need be. Um, I've never done anything like that, so I'm probably going to have to reach out for some help. Uh, a couple of people offered to help, so we'll see. I think my plan for today is just to take this door off somehow. Um, to pull the handle it's like it's definitely jammed so i gotta figure out how to take the door off all right so i was able to remove the two hinge bolts top and bottom but i forgot looking on the other side there's a middle hinge on the inside of the door that i won't be able to reach so back to square one i'm gonna climb in here i think the first thing i'll do is probably just I pop this carbon fiber trim off. Well, fake carbon fiber. <laughs> but I'm gonna remove the bolts and then try to remove the door card with the door jammed in. It'll be a little hard, but then maybe I can access like the the cable for the lock. Cause right now it's not doing anything. And I think that's why I'm caught up on the getting the door out. So let's take these bolts off real quick. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this, but I've done this in many videos before. Just little torch bits. All right. So we got the door panel off. Hmm. So it looks like that is working. Or maybe it's just like so jammed from the impact. That sucks. Oh, I got glass everywhere. Go look at it from the outside before I do any more damage. All right, so I got the door off. I just gotta remove that harness real quick. But here's the majority of the damage. Looks like there's a hole right here. All this is fucked up. But I mean, this part's good. This part right here, where the door is. So, I don't know, like, maybe just smash it out a little bit and Put the over fender over and call it a day. Be pretty ugly underneath, but we will see. Okay, so like I said in the last clip, I'm probably just gonna hammer some of this out and then see if I can get the new door to fit. Now, for all my body guys uh, that 
do body work for a living. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll try to figure it out. Go. Look at that. Okay, so I'm pretty much a certified um, body repair guy now. All you need is a five pound hammer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I got the door on there. And this is actually the uh, original color of the car. Like under the wrap, it's black. So it kind of works out. Um, as you can see, it's still all mangled under here. There's no latch on this door right now, but there's a, a slight gap. So I got to figure out what's causing that gap, but this is what the inside looks like. Pretty freaking mangled. Um, so if I can get it as close as possible and then the door, if I can get it to shut perfectly, I'm happy with it. Uh, so, like I said earlier, my friend Dustin, who gave me this door for free, actually cut out this piece of the car. I could go through the efforts of like, uh, hope you guys can see this. I could go through the efforts of cutting and patching it up, I'm sure. But, with it being a drift car, and this is all covered up anyways, I'm fine with this. Um, I'm actually about to go in the shed right now and grab those over fenders that I've had um, for like a year and we'll see if uh, it covers all the damage. Dude, prove me wrong, but the Kanze tandems just look good on anything. And the 10 and a halfs are like the perfect concave. Mm, so good. But I just got uh, this over fender from my shed. I've had it for like a year. Um, I'm kind of glad I saved it because of this situation right here. All right, guys. So I thought I was filming uh, for the last 10 minutes. I never hit the record button, uh, but the lighting sucked anyway. So let me go ahead and set you guys up here. We're going to back the car up and then I'm going to show you guys what we came up with. So this is just a little band-aid, not permanent. I literally have like an hour before I go get the kids. Mainly, I just wanted to take the door off and assess the situation. As you guys seen, it's pretty fucked up. But with a little five pound hammer and a little bit of elbow grease, I was able to get the door all right. Still a little gap. I think I can fix that. Um, but this is the rear fender flare kind of mocked up. I know a lot of people who run the hard motorsports kit, they basically take the rear bumper and mount it to the uh, fender flare. So it gives it a nice wide look. I never loved the rear of this kit. That's why I never put it on my car. But as you can see, it covers all the damage. Just gotta whoop. Now I'll probably just, you know, rivet it on like uh, the fronts are but RJ from Big Duck Club is releasing an E90 kit which ultimately I do want to run I don't like the hard motorsports kit I got it for free um, I just don't like the look of it uh, I like the like JDM aero type kit and unfortunately for the E90s this is like your only option right so it works for now it doesn't look terrible um, I will have to cut the quarter panel for more clearance this is a good thing because I get to lower the rear of the car some more and uh, when I cut it I want to do it right you know like if you run rear overs like weld it shut plate it and everything like that not just cut it and then leave a hole where tire debris smoke all kinds of stuff can get under there so I want to do it right take my time with it and uh, this is just a quick band-aid it looks super aggressive from the front and it will in the back once I, I do the bumper thing. But for now, 
um it looked like a, a bad crash right obviously it, it is with all this being fucked up but i think if i can get this little bulge out i can probably close the door all the way still got to put the latch on but for now this is how it looks i don't know not too bad right anyways thanks for watching guys thanks for the support uh all the comments in the last video that was super dope appreciate you guys but for now i'm gonna kind of vacuum everything up clean the garage and i think i got a good plan moving forward so the car's not down or anything we're we are looking solid boys so Stay safe and appreciate you guys watching. Peace.